Hi, I'm Naz and I'm a chef and founder of Bando Belly. Today we're here with Havana Club Cocktail Maestros where I'll be creating my favourite dish to go with a neat serving of Havana Club 7. When I think of Havana Club, it represents culture and history, especially because it's a Caribbean rum and how deep the history of rum is in the Caribbean. That's the first thing that comes to my mind. The memories that I think of when I drink Havana are me and my dad drinking mojitos on the beach in Goa, or as my dad likes to call them, mojitos. It just brings back memories of being on holiday, enjoyment, and like limey goodness. My journey to, into the world of food was a very interesting one. It started doing street food with my mom, and then we moved on to like American soul food, just around the corner on Queens Road in Peckham. Um, then I went traveling for a little while. I worked in a few other places, did some agency work. Um, in COVID, me and my friend, we thought we could launch a restaurant from our kitchen, um, but that quickly snowballed into a permanent location in Peckham Levels. Now, we're now in Brixton, but my chef journey has been over 10 years now. I've been at Jumbi for a year and it's always been about fusion. It kind of like represents me like being Jamaican and Turkish Cypriot. It's something that you wouldn't really put together, but amazing things can happen. <laughs> when I pair with a neat serve, I always want to make sure I'm accentuating the flavours that are already there, but also doing a bit of contrast. So we've got the the smokiness with the with the liminess. We've got the earthiness of the beans with the the pungentness of the cumin and the garlic. I like to like contrast things and bring out the best of both. My favorite Havana Club cocktail is a mojito, a classic, timeless, wonderful thing that is everywhere in the world. It's so hard to get wrong. Yeah. Tips I would give the bartenders would be to keep it simple, stick to what you know, think about the flavors you can identify and what you would put with those flavors. Find a flavor or a method you are comfortable with and work out from there where you're gonna go next. Go with it and experiment. Today we are going Cuban, but we're going bougie at the same time. Okay. So we're doing a tostones with surf and turf vibe with a mojo bar. So we've got the sour orange, we've got the oregano, we've got the coriander, and we've got the exclusive bougie of the lobster. So, before you cook me anything, mm -hmm. can we actually do a little small tasting of Havana Club 7? I think that's only right. It is only Let's right. Let's do I'm it. Come around the bar. Come in. Havana Club 7 is like our flagship rum, and rum is culture within the Caribbean. We always do this when we open a bottle. It's Panos Santos, which is, you kind of like pay homage to like the people that came before you. What we have is like a super complex dark rum with so many layers of flavor and you'll notice that if you want to pick up your glass you'll notice that straight away on the nose Ooh, yeah like there's a lot going on spicy I think with, yeah exactly vanilla. with cuban rum i mean there's just like so much going on it's like we call it like a bouquet of ah. aromas and a little bit of sweetness a little whisper of smoke yeah, as well very... um, i know you were talking about what you're going to use as well like smoky kind of flavors mm -hmm. as well as sweet so it's a beautiful mix of that and then on the palate first kind of impression is it's slightly less sweet than you think it's going to be. Yeah, it smells sweeter than it tastes for sure. Exactly, exactly. And that's just purely down to like the sweetness comes in the aging. It comes from the wood. Mm -hmm. It comes from the vanilla notes of the barrel. Yes. But then on the palate, what you actually get is like this more dry kind of Spicy. little bit of spice, a little bit of kind of, there is vanilla there but it's less, it's more subtle. Yeah, it's not It's not a foreground flavor, but it's definitely like exactly. in the back chilling. 100%, so like that's why actually sweet food works so well with this because it's like, it almost accentuates that sweetness from the rum. Also what we're getting is like tobacco, yep. leather, you know, you get that like mm -hmm. leatheriness, yeah, like leather, and then on the finish with Havana <laughs> Club, and this is typical of all Havana Clubs, okay. light and it's dry. Okay, yeah. And that's down to the way it's produced. It's like column distilled. I won't go into the science <laughs> of it, but it's column distilled. So it's like, basically we get this light, dry kind of uh, character of rum that is very specific to Cuban style. It's very specific to Havana Club. And you'll notice that on the finish. The richness in the food is offset by like the dryness and the kind of almost freshness of the rum itself. The back tones of vanilla are gonna go really well with lobster. Um, the sweetness of the lobster is really going to complement this rum well. And then we've got some rich flavours coming in from the beef oh. and the, the black beans. And then the, the citrus, I think, is going to really bring everything alive with the citrus butter. We're going to be using the juice and the pills as well. So I think oh. this is going to be 
very citrusy, very exciting. I feel like it's going to draw the best out of the rum. I think after tasting this, I'm really excited to get cooking. Let's get in there. Let's do it, man. Woo! Like when we look at the rum, we say it's sweet already. We know it's caramelly. So I, I like to look at things that would contrast that rather than match it perfectly. Yeah. Spicy, sweet, salty, yeah. and like um, a little bit sour or something. So you're getting loads of excitement when you're biting something. You're not just getting a monotone yeah. flavor. Your, your, your mouth is alive. You want to find the balance and you want to co make them complement each other, but yeah. you also want them to be able to be identified yeah. as well. So I think that's why I like this dish because it's got lots of key outstanding little bits and pieces, but it's really gonna go well with what we're drinking today. <laughs> love that, love that. Specifically within your food, yep. because being from the Caribbean as well. Yep, the ancestors tell like, you when it's enough. That's what, I was literally gonna ask that question. Like, it's like you get some whisper in your ear like, that's enough. That's man. enough. behind the chosen dish for me was what grows together goes together. I really wanted to showcase Cuban food and flavour whilst bringing out the flavours that are in the rum already. Some of the key flavours that I wanted to match with uh, the Havana Club 7 was the smokiness of the bourbon barrels. Um, I feel that would really complement the earthy richness of the steak and the black beans. And then the lobster is really going to complement the, the vanilla notes in the rum as well. And there's going to be a few other flavours that are going to be complementing the spices along the ageing process of the rum. And tostones is plantain, right? Yeah, it's green yes. plantain, green twice rice. fried. So the first step is frying it like this. And then we're going to get a plate and we're going to smash it and then fry it again. Yeah, you like to smash it down and yeah, fry it again. But this I'm gonna... is so common in Cuba, you know? Plat yeah. It's platanos. In oh, Cuba. Platanos. Platanos. And this is what you, you said, like, the theme of today is what grows together goes together. Yep. It's the same thing, like, platanos. Like, you actually get, like, banana notes within Havana Club 7. So I feel like we're onto something. We're onto something really good, good here. Okay. We've got this our beautiful green orange flex, the mojo butter. It's looking real nice. I'm sure there's a connection between mojito and. I know you said oh, your yeah. favourite cocktail. Yeah, it is, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's like the, the mint lime sugar was the little sauce and then they just top it up with a bit of soda water. Okay, so, yeah. well, this ties in it even better now, doesn't it? We love it. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, they're floating now, so they're ready to go. Golden, they're Beautifully delicious. golden, crispy little biscuits almost. Um, yeah, so we're going to just let them sit there for two seconds while we fry our steak and stuff. Still a little bit pink in the middle, which yeah, is going to be yeah. nice. With this, we're going to just melt the butter and add the lobster in so that we don't overcook the lobster because it's already nice. cooked. So the steak is the salty, meaty, lobster is the sweet, yeah. delicate. The butter is the citrus. Yeah. And the tostones is a little bit of sweetness um, and just the crunch. And then we've got a little bit of uh, cilantro, coriander have that fresh herbiness. This is like a bar snack. This is what I thought of when I thought of having a drink meat. I thought of bar snack. So I'm gonna put a little bit of the black bean puree. This is a bit of roasted garlic mayo. I love the, I love the chlor and the um, knuckle meat. I think it's so sweet as well. Avocado, garlic, coriander. There's a little bit of basil in there as well. And I think coriander is something like very much a Caribbean kind of. Yeah. This is very rich, which is why I put a little bit of the avocado and it's like got lime in that um, avocado as well. So you just got to fresh. Keep it fresh, keep it exciting. And this is the surf and turf tostones, I reckon, with the mojo butter. I like it, I like yeah. it. Surf and turf tostones. Yeah, they're super Brilliant. cute. They're fun. You could order more than one. If you're really hungry, order 10. No, I'm really actually super excited to see how this goes with the, with the Havana 7. Yeah. Like, I just feel like they're going to complement each other. Very I think well. it's time we um, try that one. Let's do it. Hey. And here we have the green plantain tostones with the ribeye steak in mojo butter, lobster meat in mojo butter, comfy garlic mayo, avocado creme, and a little bit of cilantro to bring everything together. I wanted to represent Cuban food and Cuban ingredients. I wanted my dish to be uh, bright and colourful and loud, just like me. And where we're pairing it with the Havana Club 7, I just wanted to make the dish, the cocktail this time, if you know what I mean. That makes sense, because there's layers there, there's layers here. Yep, it's beautiful, it's colorful. Like when you think of Cuba, when you think of Havana, you think of beautiful women, colorful outfits, 
So I feel like this looks like something that wouldn't be misplaced out of a little um, paladaris. Yes, it does look very flamboyant, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But maybe have a sip of the, the rum first. Yeah, I think and so. Yeah, should we do that? Yeah, let's have a little okay. sip. Right, you first. Okay. On, lead the way. Because you've got like the warmth already from the Havana, mm -hmm. it kind of like, the first thing I got was the, the coriander mm -hmm. on the top or cilantro, which was like warmth, freshness straight away and it almost like cleansed my palate. So it was like it brought this kind of like fresh element, freshness, sweetness, richness, and then like nuttiness from the plantain. Mm -hmm. But you have this like banana leaf note within Havana Club 7 that I always get. Because I could have used any sort of carb, but I just wanted to keep it Cuban, mm -hmm. keep it Caribbean. But I didn't want it to overpower the, the, the caramel notes of the rum. Yeah. So I think the green plantain was definitely the way to go. I feel like when you do do tastings, it's good to like sit, eat, and then sip again. Yeah. Because for me, it brings out so much more in mm. the rum. That's mine. Mm -hmm. Now we've just had another bite. Join me because like have a little taste of this now and you'll see which different notes actually come out of the Havana. You know this is liquid and you know this is food, but once you've eaten that, this almost feels like it's part of that experience. Yeah, it's like it brings it all together. Mm -hmm. This is delicious. Thank you very much. Naz, come on. Hey, hey. <laughs> Salud. Salud. If there was one piece of advice that you would give to like the Havana Club cocktail maestros, the bar teams that are joining this competition and, and, and challenging. What is that piece of advice? Identify the flavours that you find in the rum yourself and then pair it with what you feel would go with it and don't overcomplicate it. Good luck bar teams and don't forget what grows together, goes together.